Hello everyone, how's everybody doing? So, girl, I got hurt um, like two days ago or three, I can't remember already, but I'm going to be showing you how I remove my nail. Carefully, you want to remove all the decorations. Um, I ended up cutting off the nail short the same day that I got hurt because from my previous experiences, once you get hurt really bad, is gonna keep getting hurt so just cut that shit off and um so normally i let it heal like a day or two where it's no longer bleeding or anything like that so that it doesn't burn when you soak it off so use some cuticle nippers or nail clippers whatever you got to remove your decor and i was trying to do it as gentle as possible because the finger is still kind of sore and I'm going to be using my 3X Cores bit. It's available on my website. If you're interested, you can shop at zulaysnails.bigcartel.com. And I'm using the Manny Pro Passport. I don't know how fast it was because it didn't show me, but it was kind of fast. Um, and just carefully, again, not applying too much pressure because it does kind of hurt. And you don't want to hurt yourself anymore. So just go gently. Um, and for those of you guys wondering. I did put alcohol when it happened. So prior to this. The day that it happened when I got hurt. I clipped the nail as short as possible. And then I cleaned the nail with alcohol. So it didn't get infected. I did not put a band-aid or anything like that. Because I need that thing to dry the fuck up. And and stop bleeding so again you want to do this as gently as possible i try to hold the nail with my thumb so that it didn't like vibrate or anything like that because the finger does hurt but to be honest it didn't hurt as much as other times so that's why i was brave enough to keep fighting normally i would have already put it in acetone but i was like no let me try to thin it down as much as possible and right here i'm showing you that it's pretty damn thin and i'm not gonna lie i was a little a little chicken so i was like you know what i'm gonna dip this shit in acetone because me va a quemar hasta el pinche culo a la verga so i was like i'll just put one of these things normally it's for like gel polish removals or whatever but I put a little bit of acetone and this is the way I wrapped it if I'm doing it wrong don't come for me bitch I just need this nail to be off so I decided to use this method so that the acetone wouldn't go under the nail and burn the shit out of me because no girl I'm already in pain I don't need to be killing no freaking nail nail nerves or anything like that so after a few minutes um, you need to be patient. Don't expect it to happen in one minute. Gently scrape off what's loosened up. And I'm very impatient, so I am going to file off the acrylic the most that I can. And because it already kind of softened up, it's so much easier. Just, again, be gentle because you do not want to reach your natural nail and damage it any further. So um, I have it at a slower speed here. And then I'm going to reapply the foil and soak it for just a little bit more. If you're not very experienced with electric files, I'd probably recommend a softer grit one. Um, I would probably like a fine one or a medium or whatever. And I just add a little bit more acetone to the foil and put it back on for a few more minutes. Almost all of the acrylic is gone, but I was like curious to see what it actually looked like. Because I'm like, nah, girl, it lifted. It lifted halfway at least. That's how I felt it. But when I looked at it, I was like, girl, it ain't that bad. Okay, girlfriend. You could put a nail on again. Yes, girl. And if it looks a little rough, I'm not rough at all. Well, at least I didn't think I was being rough. I was just very anxious to see this nail because my birthday is next week. And girl, we need a nail. So that's why I was like, I'm going to make a video on how to remove this. 
because not only am I curious, but I need to let this now heal completely. It is a little red because this set was like hella fresh. So if it was any older, I feel maybe my nail would have ripped off like the fake one. But thank baby Jesus that it didn't go any further or any bruise. But we'll see what it looks like on Thursday. And if my nail's nice and healthy, a new nail can go on there. So I'm just putting a little bit of cuticle oil because it'd be dry AF and I wanted to kind of see the nail more clearly. So that's what it looks like. I'm not gonna buff anymore because that did kind of hurt. So that's how I remove the nail. I hope this is helpful. And don't forget to not soak your nail fully in acetone because that shit will burn. Try this method. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!